GG's The Mouthful Podcast is brought to you by GoodGame.Tech, the most welcoming gaming community on Facebook. Join the conversation at www.GoodGame.Tech. Thank you so much for joining us. My name is Dream Twister, and you're listening to the Mouthful Podcast. Of course, I'm not here by myself doing this thing because I couldn't. I have my lovely co-host, Shadow247. Say hello. You know, I, I don't understand how someone could be just talk by themselves for like an hour. Oh, I've, I've heard podcasts of, of one person, and it is, I don't know, I, I have, I, I don't know how they do it. I mean, you have to no, be widely entertaining to I, do that. I think uh, as we, as we are very widely entertaining. <laughs> entertaining. Um, it is you have to have that dynamic. Mm-hmm. You have to be a back uh, a back and forth. Uh, you're not hearing Arnaldo. He's still on location in Italy, uh, He'll having be a back. blast. He'll, He'll be, be back, back next, next week, hopefully. Yeah. yeah. Unless that he is, says no, I'm going to take a break again. If yeah, exactly. <laughs> if he decides to. To forego his U.S. citizenship and decide to stay in Italy because why wouldn't he? Over there is beautiful. I heard he lives in a castle now. Have mm. you seen the things that he's been posting? I mean, yeah, he's I'm literally bit, staying in a castle. I'm a bit jealous. So uh, today the podcast could be a little short, sadly, because um, sorry, Infinity War is more important. <laughs> yeah, we just came back from. Uh, from watching Infinity War, but hey, don't don't you don't have to stop it. We're not gonna, gonna talk about the movie. We're not gonna. We're not even gonna present expectations. We're just gonna say, hey, it's a movie. Mm. You know, go watch it. You know, you mean you, you know that you've been meaning to 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 see this uh, wrap up. You know, mm. and uh, yeah, and uh, also we don't yeah. we don't have the the OG Mad Dog here. So yeah, exactly. We don't want to talk about it without him. We 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 consider. Uh, first of all, we we want to keep it short uh, because uh, I mean it's almost midnight and we are madly tired. We are drinking coffees. I uh, uh, we were thinking of hey maybe we could do like a a, like a spoiler cast at the at the very end just to keep it fresh. But we f- we figured well a it's too it's too too early for that because the movie just came out not even you know yesterday so it's kind of early for that. And second, uh, I I'm not. You know, I'm not the the master of Marvel, so I I can't. You know, I can I can tell you. You know, I can tell you about about the the movie that we saw and going to spoilers is just gonna go all wrong. So let's not do that. Let's just say, hey, we had a good time and uh, just go watch it. Uh, it's in theaters now. So, uh, oh, those who are joining us, before I forget. Uh, the Mouthful Podcast it is the official podcast of the, well, of the GG group, of the Good Game Gamer group at www.goodgame.tech. I always forget. I, I want to say net and I didn't buy that domain. So I don't think, I don't think there's a lot of websites left? out there that use .net. No, but there was a .gg. And I could I couldn't get goodgame.gg. That would have been awesome. Oh. Yeah, yeah. So, so uh, this is gonna, we're gonna have to do with tech. Uh, we are gonna start the show as we always do, which is talking about what we have been doing. And I'm gonna tell myself. I want to tell myself since All right. you know I, I did, my, mine is short. I, honestly. It's God of War. <laughs> it's been a God of, God of War day. My God, that is that game. Uh, obviously, won't be spoiling anything on God of War because also another thing that just yeah, came out way yeah. too recently. You gotta wait till everyone's like finished with it. Yeah, yeah, probably. Uh, this is very likely it's gonna be. I, I mean, I can, I can. I'm ready to call it my game of the year. That's how much I've been enjoying it. And mm. we're not even half of the year already. I mean, no, especially almost. since we have a lot of games that are 
and we're having Coming three soon. that we don't yeah. know, you know, what else. But I just can't think of anything to this level of polish. And mm. I speak of polish, but they've been patching the crap out of that game consistently. Yeah, like every morning when I wake up and there's I a new check, patch. there's a new patch. I'm like, yeah, okay. and I'm like, that's awesome. But I haven't, I mean, thank goodness. Well, I haven't have encountered anything that is broken. Have you noticed your PS4 not sounding like a jet plane? Or does it still oh, sound like no, that? that? No, that, <laughs> I think I've, I've, I posted, yes. Uh, so I have the, a PS4 Pro, uh, PS4 Pro. So this happens, uh, my understanding is just on the PS4 Pro, uh, oh, no, which is it. loud. I've heard it. You, you heard it on, uh, mm. on the regular? Well, when you go into the, ma- I don't know, if it doesn't happen during gameplay uh, or it doesn't happen as bad uh, as, as when I go into the map. For some reason, whenever I hit the map screen, I don't know yeah, if don't it's because they have to render the whole thing. I or think because um, this has, like, you can see the landscapes. And yeah, everything. yeah. I don't know if it's... And in, like, good quality, too. It's not like Horizon where it's, oh, it's like, a beautiful, yeah. sketched out. It this is, a, is like it's a beautiful map. Top down, what, almost 3D-ish? Yeah. A bit. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it is a, re- yeah, so it's it a rendered map. So must take a lot of rendering. And my PlayStation sounds like a freaking engine. I I I posted uh, I posted it for you guys to to. I was like, what the hell? I can barely hear the game anymore. You know, it's like for real. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, but I, I, I was one of the skeptics at first when I got a war got announced for PS4, and I was like, oh mm-hmm. yeah, I don't. Really, I don't need another Kratos game, you know. I never, yeah, I'm not gonna say I never liked him as a character, but by the second God of War, I was already tired of him. It was like already too much of his anger, yeah, because the whole kind of hulking it out, yeah, 24 7. Way too, way too, they're way too angry. I'm gonna cut you down. (laughs) The, 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 on this one in particular, though, they subdue him, but you can still see uh, he's still okay. Kratos. It's still yeah. every now and then. Okay. It's there is a, a, a control level of Kratosness, which is kind of it, it, it's almost I don't want to say comical in a bad sense because it's not like it's a joke or anything like that. I, I can take the character seriously. As a matter of fact, I think this Kratos has it's a more mature Kratos. Mm-hmm. Uh, I, 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 I like. I really like the interaction with, uh, with a- Atreus. Yeah, He's, yeah, Atreus. Yeah, you know, Atreus. Nice. Yes. Uh, who is also, who's also another character that I like. I was a little concerned, but no, actually, I, I, I like the their interaction and stuff. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, I ha- I believe I've played probably eight or nine hours, maybe more, maybe more, but. I, this game, is, I could tell, I, or it feels like it's gonna be huge. It feels like it's this is not a game that you're gonna finish in twenty hours, no, unless no, I'm no, wrong. No, 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 you know, no, you can't. Maybe, maybe the main story, probably, but not everything else in it. Well, it it doesn't feel like. A, I mean, it's it's you were describing it perfectly when we were talking before the show. Uh, mm-hmm. it, it it's not an open world. Uh, or it's an open world, but it doesn't feel like one. It feels directed. It feels like, okay, uh, you're in this yeah, area. I, um, it's a hub. You're in this area, and you go in, and you can backtrace. You know, you're going to mm. go back to all, all the areas that you have gone. Uh, you have full control of the map, uh, you know, all around. Mm-hmm. It is just a very well done game. It's like the type of games that Sony keeps ring, bringing that... that, that and I don't want to sound like, like a fanboy or anything, I but... I feel like it's in your face to Microsoft. Yeah, it exactly. It just feels like, man, this... Where is the, where is this level of quality? And it's like back to back to back to back. You got it mm. with Horizon. You got it with this one. You you, you have it with uh, Detroit now, uh, which the demo's out, actually. I haven't had time to review, but uh, to check it on myself. But I've seen videos and... And uh, and it looks amazing. Someone's got to stream it, man. Yeah, yeah. That's that's a very streamable game, I would mm-hmm. say. But man, it's like I get it. You know, I'm not trying to shit on Microsoft or anything like that. I still, you know, I, I still want them to. They still have some qualities to them. Yeah, but like, what are you doing? This is Sony took the opposite route. They went in 
with and, and and they got all those you know all the studios all the 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 uh the different stables of studios ver- very well vetted by now you know mm-hmm. they produce quality stuff you know santa monica is gonna bring it you know uh and then but in the meantime you got microsoft with turn 10 and the coalition and 343 producing mm-hmm. the same games and i don't know man I, anyway i didn't mean to do, turn it into a uh uh console war um <laughs> god of war is awesome Go play it right now. You know, go get, get, it. Get, go play get it. This or if you can't price. get it yet, watch somebody play it. No, don't, don't. You don't want to spoil it. I mean, well, unless I mean, you don't care about spoilers. There are some people who just can't do it. So oh. if you can't do it, then <laughs> just watch somebody play it. That's why it's so hard to play. That's not, not kind of sad, but true. <laughs> um, uh, I, yeah, that's I, how I got some of my games because I watched somebody play it because you and got, I liked it and I wanted to play it myself and you felt like you were playing your own <laughs> your own copy I uh, I oh, I've also been uh, playing oh actually I started uh, playing more like previewing uh, this game that came out recently uh, Frostpunk for the PC and I this this is a game that caught my attention. I I hadn't know, I didn't know anything about it until uh, this week. Uh, I started you know there was some buzz about it and it was, of course it was because of release. And then I started watching a video just to see because it was you know they were describing it as this um, you dystopian. know city builder dystopian right yeah it's it, it's this city builder and I was like well I like city building you know game sure let me let me check what this is about oh man. How much is it on? It's Steam, thirty. Right? It's yeah. It's twenty nine ninety nine. It's okay. out. It's out on Steam right now. It is a bleak game. First of all, if you want to know how bleak this game is, it's from the makers of This War of Mine. And if you haven't had a, ta- a chance to play this, uh, this War of Mine, I suggest you do. It's it's available. I mind. Mean, it's available on consoles. Mm-hmm. It came out on PC first, but it's available on consoles now. And there is one month. For PlayStation, where you can get, I think the um, the DLC version. Oh, the DLC. Yeah. With you know the, the, the children game with, or yeah. something like something other. Yeah, yeah. It, it it is the idea of the game is that it is alternate reality. Uh, uh, a steampunk. Yeah, I was but, gonna say it was steampunkish because I remember seeing this game about like a year ago. Yeah. Like before it went public. And but what 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 did you think when you saw it? It was good. I wanted to play it because mm. I I like those games too. It's a nice game to like I guess get lost in. I would say yeah, and build your own cities. It's like definitely not relax. Sandbox, uh, sandbox, sandbox, kind of a bit. Yeah, yeah. It, but controlled. It is definitely not a game to relax. I felt tense playing it a lot because I was very worried. First of all, first of all, the production values on it are amazing for a game of this price i mean you know the menus are like beautiful everything everything has this uh like steampunk uh mixed with frost i was gonna say frostbite as the end as in the engine but with this uh frost you know a layer over it over it this frost landscape but anyway so like i was saying think the, of um snow piercer Yes, yes, definitely, a hundred percent. There you go, you nailed it. Think of, of Snow Piercer. The idea is that you know the the Earth, it ha, you know, it's it's a nice age, you know, you know, early on, uh, in the nineteen hundreds, let's say, and uh, you know, so London is frozen. You know, they decided there's a group that decided to go north for whatever mm. reason, because I would think north is colder, but I guess not. And they have this to machine. Find, you know, that, they, well, they, they're, they're trying to find uh, a, sor- a source. That they're, they're trying to relocate to an area where they can uh, they can settle. And and they, they have... Yeah, uh, they, they're, they're taking a, this huge machine, which is a reactor, basically. It's mm. meant to keep them warm. The whole idea, the whole thing that you're managing, you're managing this settlement uh, with... with, with where the characters, first of all, there's a day and night cycle. Mm-hmm. Each character, you know how you see the little workers and thing, and yeah, every character, every little worker has their name and their story. You know It'll what that say, reminds me of? That reminds me of um, the the Tropico 
games. I never played the tropical games, but, but it's, it was. It's I like heard, that. I, I heard. I heard it being described as as that. But in the opposite sense of, well, More instead of a tropical uh, paradise, this is a dystopian future of frozen mm-hmm. wastelands. Uh, but yes, I've heard, I've, I've heard that. So if tropical has that, it, it, it's cool because it makes you, your, your, your workers, uh, they, you know, they have, they have a life. They could get sick. Actually, they could die, mm-hmm. and that could have repercussions on the morale of the rest, especially you know the the, the, the families. I would think, you know. Uh, you send them, you you send them to to mine to mine for coal and to get wood and and to get uh, um, steel and resources so they can come back and build their settlement. Now here's the thing: they work from 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 eight to six, so at seven and four it's their free time, you know, and then they go to bed, and then they they start the next day. Now, as things are happening in the game. Uh, the, the you could have situations where suddenly you find yourself people are dying of 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 hypothermia. You know they're 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 freezing because there's not enough housing. Mm-hmm. So suddenly you you're in control of enacting a, a, a law, and the law could be like literally could say, well, from now on, children can work. Mm-hmm. We're gonna put children to work. You have to decide. Okay, uh, I can put children to work. Uh, in 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 the smaller task, uh, you know, uh, jobs, you know, like work the 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 the, the, the as cooks, the, the cuisine, and, and stuff um, like that, like laundry or something. Yeah, yeah, stuff, yeah, stuff like that, where they could get less injured. Uh, but you can also make them work like hard labor. That's the thing. And You're in control, way, and your choices have consequences. Yeah, exactly. That. Every no choice you make you will always have a consequence. You got you're constantly trying to balance those. And I'm thinking like, man, this is one of those games that I really wish Mad Dog will will give it a chance and 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 try it out because it is he's not going to cuz it's a well, PC game and it's a PC uh, but that's as like, and uh, that's like interface. simple, simple. But I got to ask you, do you think they'll bring it to console? I mean, it could. The, I this mean, world of mine was brought to console. Difficult? Do you think they might like, no, it, like dumb doable. it down a bit? It's do no. It, I don't. I don't think they will have to. It, I think it's doable with a controller because mm-hmm. the whole city you're building it on a on a radial because mm. it's around the the reactor. So so it it wouldn't be hard to specify. Okay, I want this here. This. I mean, they they did civilization with crying out loud, and that's mm. a PC ass PC game. And I'm thinking so, also they have Tropico and uh, there you go. Sim- cities on consoles sure they, they, there you go so so yeah i don't i, I don't see when so maybe there's a chance there because it's a game that makes you think about all all your choices matter mm-hmm. all your choices matter you got to be you, you constantly have to be uh you know worrying about okay now do i want the people to be happy but let these things you know get out of control and suddenly things will get messed up or do I put them to work 24 hours a day I mean they're beyond happy but they're they'll have a chance of survival that's what you happens know. when you start running your own you know so country. it's the last it's the last they describe it as the last city the last yeah, city running on Earth. your own so, thing. so so this this is it, either you do or, or or the whole fate of humanity is lost. You die. Everybody dies. And you start all over again. Uh, the only thing that I didn't like about it is that the tutorial is very unintuitive. It is like I had a hard time figuring things out when I shouldn't. Mm. Like it, it definitely needs better tutorials. That was the the, the only turn off. But Has once you get the hang of it. Have about that though? I, I've seen it in reviews being mentioned that. Uh, yeah, it oh. is. They might put a patch in. They might not because I know the game just came out very recently. Yeah. yeah well, we can only hope. We can only hope. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, so that's Frostpunk. Uh, I definitely... Uh, I can see myself going straight to it as soon as mm. as soon as I'm done with God of War. But then again, it's a game that I could play in the meantime. Um... We, uh, I haven't seen, uh, I mean, we just watched Avengers as, as we talked about mm-hmm. <laughs> and blinkety blank. Um, I was started watching this show, uh, this series in, uh, on, uh, Amazon prime and I'm trying to remember the name of it. I think it's called the wonderful or oh, the marvelous Miss Maisel. And it is... That it is a light like a very yeah like a happy go lucky show. It is, kind it, it kind of makes it well 
Yeah, yeah, it's not. It's it's a lighthearted. It's definitely a lighthearted show. I mean, this is. Uh, it's set on on the night on the nineteen uh, fifties, I believe, and is uh, the story about this uh, this housewife that uh, this Jewish housewife who pretty much has it all. You know, she has you know well to do parents. She has an outstanding upgrade upbringing. Uh, she has. Uh, uh, you know her her wonderful you know husband or you know or, or she or so she thinks because and this is gonna sound like a spoiler but it's not it's really actually it, it says it in the in the synopsis of the of the of the first episode of the pilot episode uh they end up you know he ends up divorcing basically and suddenly she discovers that she has a talent for um stand-up comedy because the thing is what yes the thing is her, her out of all the things her, i didn't expect to hear that i know it's, i know it's uh and i'm probably explaining it wrong also the the way because he brought up a picture of the show to see the title and it looks like some mary poppins kind of thing no 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 it's just, just because, it's just because it's, just it's in that era it's in the 1950s so of course yeah. they're dressed they up, up to the to to the to the era and it's and that's one of the things i really like about the show a lot the, the just seeing the, you know that era in general mm. but uh but i also like the interaction because again we're talking about the uh you know she has it all and suddenly she is uh in the brink of losing it and because because the thing is her her husband uh, who is who has it you know he, he has a job he's making money but his dream is that he wants to be a stand-up comic uh, stand-up comedian mm. so and he has one bad knife for some reason that then he started saying you know he's starting uh throwing things out to her um you know and i will say much but the thing is that she he ends up breaking up basically he, he wants to break up where she gets drunk one night and she goes to the place where where, where he where the husband used to do the stand-up comedy and she started like complaining and talking and people started like really enjoying the way that she was telling the story so and they were treating her like she was like the best comedian almost like lots of comedians nowadays yeah 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 you know and 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 then you know it's it it is it is cool it is cool i probably uh i'll give it not a give look. You much but it's, it's Amazon probably, Prime. yeah it's not gonna be a you know it's not gonna be a show of like suspense and oh my god what happened this is more like hey it's like watching friends basically you know it's just want something lighthearted. And you know, for a change, but uh, well, yeah, it's uh, I don't Amazon Prime now, and uh, that's all I've been doing. Miss Shadow, awesome, awesome, awesome. So, um, I'm gonna have a sip of my coffee, awesome. I got God of War this week, but I had to complete a game before I got to play it. Before, oh, you oh, you had yeah, to, I didn't want to yeah. just leave some games out of so I went back. And played Wolfenstein, Old mm. Blood. Oh, yes. Wait, from the you were playing that? I didn't know that you were playing that. Yeah, the the Old Blood. I got that one nice. in the first game. Nice. And it's to me, it's I played on normal, but that's yeah. it. To me, it felt reasonable, challenging, like reasonable. Yeah. Uh, I got my mom to watch it. Watch me play because mm-hmm. hello, uh, shooting Nazis. Interesting game. Of course, yeah. <laughs> and then she left because of a certain part of the game. She's like, really? <laughs> what part was that? Um, I don't know if, if it's really a spoiler or not. But you yeah, know, it's I'll, an older I'll, game, I'll so it's spoilers. Spoiler, yeah. It's when they turn into zombies. Oh, God, She's like, yes. you know what? Screw it. I don't want to watch it. I'm yeah, like, oh. they, they, now they're not really she nasty. Was, she was too. like, I was really invested until that <laughs> happened, so I'm going to leave. Hmm. Of course, with the zombie trope. And, oh my god, the only thing that was really hard was the last boss. It took me, like, mm. a lot of tries, and I'm like, you know what, I give up. <laughs> so, uh, on Tuesday, which is when my game was coming in, I'm like, you know what, I'm gonna go and actually try and beat it, because I'm not gonna play God of War until I beat this game. Mm. And then it took me, like, two tries, and I got it. And you got it, nice. Yeah, sometimes you just need, you just need to have that, you just need to sleep it. Mm. Slip it in and, and put some music on because I didn't have music. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's it's a run and gun game. You don't really need to 
Well, you need to pay attention to the story. To the story, yeah, but to as, the story. But not as much. That game, I, I mean, as much as, don't get me wrong, as, as much as I really enjoyed the story of the second one, because, mm. it, because it just goes berserk. It just goes, cranks it to, to 12. Mm. Um, I feel like the, 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 the challenging of the first one was right, right there. It was mm-hmm. not too, not, not easy. But not like impossible. Yeah, it, it, that last boss was kind of annoying. I give you that. Yeah, some some games need to be yeah. like that. But then that that uh, that's the because he, he he had a wait. You said the old blot. Yes, is the that old blood. you're the talking prequel. about the DLC? Yeah, the prequel. Oh, DLC. I wanted to play that before. I oh the shit! No, game. no, no. So I played the. F- okay, so I was. I thought you went yeah. to the first. So the first. Oh no, no shit, me, girl! You play played the hard one. one. Really? So that you wasn't got, hard. Oh, man. That was annoying. That, I mean, that game was annoying. Let's see. If I remember, <laughs> I died like a little over 100. I mean, yeah. <laughs> but I still got through it. Like, yeah, of course. I mean, you, you like keep it, it brute was, forcing it. I mean, yeah. It was reasonably challenging to me. Like, I yeah. didn't expect it to be easy. Yeah. the No, that one was... That one was a pain, but I still think that the second one is where they shit the bed. You know, because mm-hmm. unfortunately... They did something to the balance to, uh, mm-hmm. of it where it kind of got messed up. But yeah, I'll have to, I'll have to see and I'll get yeah. back to that. <laughs> if you go to the first one, then you you run that through. You yeah. run that through. So Even though that last boss of the first one is also a pain in the ass, but it's doable. I'm sure every boss, like final bosses. So um, yes, I did play God of War too. I think about, I think it got, yeah, about eight hours in. Just you did. Mm-hmm. And what you think? What you I think? What you think? What I explained to him is that it felt open world to me, but still linear like the other games. Like you're limited to a certain part. Mm-hmm. But you can do and explore everything around that area before you continue on. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. It, 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 you don't have to. I mean, you can pursue every corner and I will suggest uh, do that, doing that if if there is a fork on the road. Take both both ends of the fork, and uh, I've been like since yesterday, been in one spot because mm. there there are side quests in this game. Yeah, that is not a spoiler, and that's all I've been doing. The side quests because I'm like, while I'm already here, let me explore everything because I enjoy the story. I mm. do, but I also really enjoy the side quests. Yeah, I noticed that. Uh, I I I I know the area you're talking that you're talking about, mm. and you start doing the side quest, and then when I was done and I went back into the main mission, suddenly I was a little op. For, for that's a, it. that's actually a good thing because you rather yeah. be op than not enough for a boss. Yeah, but then that's things become suddenly easier when you were doing the when the side quests are harder than the mm. main quest. It, it it kind of feels weird. I don't know. Um, I guess I really have no complaints about that. Well, that's not true. There, there. I'm, sh- I'm sure that yeah, has yeah. something, but uh, another thing is something though, minor, probably. I have a few complaints. Like I don't like how small the text is because I have to play with subtitles because I know oh, I'll miss something. Yes. Yeah, I know they updated it, but it's still kind of small. Damn. Honestly, man. yeah. Um, hmm. I like this. That's your phone. <laughs> yeah, sorry about that. Let me put that away. I like this voice actor. I do like the, this for Kratos. Is it not the same one? No. I didn't know that. You can kind of hear it a bit, but I like that it's he sounds more wiser. He doesn't sound the angry Spartan that you've no. known before. And you can see that... Not annoying that, angry. He's still angry, but yeah. not annoying angry. But you can see that, you know, he's trying with this son he's trying to teach him and you can see the whole father son moment throughout. boy <laughs> boy hey boy i'm sure everyone who hasn't played the game already know this boy and he kept saying that. hey boy <laughs> this is just somebody actually posted on youtube mm. uh an hour of just kratos saying boy <laughs> and of course of course that was gonna happen and i know or, um some parts might, you know, I guess be close to heart to people who have kids. Because yeah. there, there is a part that I'm not going to spoil at all. But if you play the game, you'll know that, you know, it sucked. Yeah. Just just for a bit. It gave you, like, a heart attack for a bit. <laughs> I, um, 
I think I know which one, which part you, you're talking about. But it's, it's very early. We probably, yeah, very we probably early. shouldn't be saying much. On and that. I like that it's North Norse mythology because I enjoy that's that. That's your more. jam. <laughs> yeah, but I enjoy it more than Greek. And when I was playing the game, like I know almost most of the stuff <laughs> when we're going when I'm going to finding stuff and some boss bros I'm like I know who these people are <laughs> yeah yeah I I hey the first one was about killing gods on on the the Greek mm-hmm. gods and now suddenly he is here in another realm I could imagine this gods being kind of nervous oh yeah I mean who else, if you're a foreigner in a new place, nobody's really going to like that. Yeah. And especially if you're Kratos. Oh, boy. <laughs> uh, I like that the camera, it's a continuous, you know, it's continuous and oh yeah, yeah. very dynamic. Like, when you see him running, it's not, like, because it's, it's over the shoulder camera. Mm-hmm. So, so you have the roadie run? Yeah, so when you see him run, it's like, like being in a car. So you see, in other words, do you, you you feeling that the 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 bobbing of the sc- on the screen as he's running? Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, it makes it kind of real a bit, and I like that. Um, even though Atreus is a AI, he does help you a lot in the game. You know, he tells you when to look out. He even asks a lot of questions of where we're going. Are we gonna keep doing this? Mm-hmm. You know, very you know in it yeah i thought i did not i did not think that i was gonna like their their relationship mm. as much as i do because I, I i was i was thinking of first of oh joel and joel and ellie they're trying to do mm. the joel and ellie but for god of war okay this is played out this is come on sonny be real but but it actually works they you know do you, you actually it's not I'm not gonna say it's not the same, but it's not as similar as the Joel and mm-hmm. and uh, and Ellie. Maybe maybe a little bit in the sense of Joel being this like hunking, like quiet type guy, and but you don't hear him say "girl." <laughs> Do this, I don't girl. Think, I don't think anyone will really like that. What does it say here, girl? <laughs> Uh, I do feel though that it's gonna be kind of a bit of a grindy game, just a bit, because the because when you play it, you'll understand what I mean. I'm talking about combat. Yeah, and also all the equipment, you'll understand. Oh, oh yeah. Well, we will know they has loot. Yeah, it, it, it been know that the game has loot. I don't feel like. Okay, now we're not. Well, if, if we review, if, no, we're not reviewing, but we can we can say what we think. I mean, there's there's some things like the little system. It's okay. I mean, several times already, I have found myself in no need whatsoever to upgrade my gear because you know that you're gonna get something better. And the one time that I decided to upgrade my gear. I immediately, like literally, like immediately opened the next chest and there it was. The item that that I'm that would that would replace the one that I just upgraded and I wasted you know what you I know, have however an money issue on it. I keep forgetting to upgrade my skills. Uh, <laughs> oh yeah, the skills. Yeah, I le- yeah, yeah, I was having that problem like, too. Because uh, that's another thing, it doesn't unless you actually go to the menu mm. the game doesn't give you like a great tutorial okay now do this now go here now I mean it's not bad it's mm. definitely better than Frostpunk <laughs> and I feel since however long I played I feel some of like the puzzles are a bit uh, light and mediocre to me but I guess that's because the way yeah I do stuff they haven't been super super difficult I don't know it's, I, I'm hoping it'll get a little tougher mm. you know and um Oh my god, I love throwing that axe. Yes. It's probably it's my so mo- satisfying, isn't it? So many silly videos that I've saved that I'm just like, I gotta save this <laughs> and then show it. It just feels it feels even better when you're calling that axe back. Mm-hmm. It's so satisfying just to get it like and like the like that was a one one point where I left the axe on the other side of the world, basically. And I called it and you can you can hear it, but there's a delay because, of course, it's traveling all the way. Yeah, I mean, it's not going to take as long because that would be you ridiculous. You can also hear it. Like, if you leave it some, you can hear it, like, clinking around things, and too. Just, yeah, and breaking stuff. It's, yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Let me tell you, that game is all right. Game of the year. GG's game of the year for 2018. Already called by nobody else but me. We'll see, because we still got some big games coming out. So, honestly, that's all I've been doing. Cool, cool. Okay. Let's get into some news um, with a reminder that, that we are going to keep this one short and sweet because uh, we need to go to bed soon. I have work tomorrow. <laughs> uh, Nintendo dates for E3 uh, for the E3 briefing has been revealed. You mean their treehouse? <laughs> yeah, yeah, the treehouse. When I read that of the first time, I was like, oh, shoot, they're coming back to the uh, traditional uh, press conference now. They'll, they'll be no, at they're the not booth, doing that. and that's it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, so we'll be getting their pre-recorded briefing. Uh, hopefully, it'll have some cool announcements. Um, they announced that it will air uh, at 9 a.m. Uh, Pacific time, 12 Eastern time, on Tuesday, June the 12th. The the that's their treehouse stream uh, that will happen. Uh, for three days, you're going to be able to watch uh, Nintendo developers uh, demoing live gameplay uh, on a multitude of titles, uh, hopefully including or should be including Super Smash Brothers. I think they already confirmed that they're going to be talking about that. Actually, I'm not sure that was I really think, confirmed. Yeah, I think they're going to do a tournament, actually. Oh, you think so? Yeah, I oh, heard about that, that. Oh, 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 oh. Uh, I think that in a Splatoon tournament. The in- uh, well, we'll Nintendo's know. biggest game of this year. Oh yeah, here here it is. Nintendo's biggest uh, biggest game this year will be Super Smash Bros. for the Switch. Uh, the the game's first Invitational tournament will be hosted at the show, and will be playable from June 12 to 14, alongside some other unannounced games. So I'm really looking forward to that. Uh, like when we were uh, off uh, on our break, I was telling I was telling you. I was looking at my Switch and telling you, man, I miss I miss my Switch. I haven't played. Yeah, I mean, they got good games, but nothing we haven't played already. Um, yeah, yeah, nothing. Well, I mean, I would get Stardew Valley and play that. Video, yeah, yeah that's, that's a game that I do like to play on the go. On yeah, but yeah, I can't. definitely. And of course, Bayonetta. Yeah, if you haven't played it already, that's yeah. that's that's. If you own a Switch, you should be owning the title because what else is there? Super so Mario. You gonna get the Mario? Who cares about the Mario? <laughs> I'm kidding. Super Mario is You're all the awesome. Nintendo fans screaming at you. I know. <laughs> I know. Calm down, everybody. Okay, so what I got since we were talking to movies. Movies? I got some news about the movie pass. Oh, what's that? Is it getting sweeter or sour? <laughs> I feel like it's getting a bit of both. Oh. Yeah, yeah so the movie pass, since... It's if you guys don't know, it's a membership that it's ten ten dollars a month. Yeah, right, ten dollars a month, and it'll allow you to see one movie a day, so you can go to the movies as much as you want in a month. But the uh, the company they realized, well, the CEO he realized that um, not everyone was going to the movies every single day. So they decided to cut back and limit it to at least four movies per month because that's about the average that people, people go will to see movies. a movie. I didn't yeah. know that it was because uh, I, I didn't know that it was that. I thought it was, mm-hmm. or maybe they're saying that, but in reality, they're like, "Oh yeah, this it's is also costing too us much, way yeah. too much." So Especially since we don't know. Well, we know that the move, the theaters are paying them. Yeah. And since it's very limited, you know, they're. I think they realize they're losing. They're losing money. That that's their spin, right? They're saying, "Oh, we just noticed that people in general they don't tend to go more than four times." Then, well, that's great for you guys. You guys, that means you guys don't have to do anything, <laughs> you know, because <laughs> you're not losing money because people aren't going, right? Yeah. So, this month, Movie Pass is offering this new subscription along with. A three-month trial of iHeartRadio I All Access for ten dollars. Oh wow! So you keep adding. That's cool. Yeah. That's cool. And besides, it's true. You know, if usually you go to the movies, maybe twice a month. In, in I reality, think as of recording, t- it's 
This is the first time in a while I've been to the movies. <laughs> well, actually, I've I've gone twice this month already because I went to see Rampage. Yeah, the last movie that I saw in theaters was Black Panther. So Black Panther. Two months ago. Oh, there you go. I should tell it's you. It's been a while. And um, so it seems like they're also they're um going to be re- rotating membership perks. So mm. just I guess just to keep everyone interested because if they just keep doing this not not everyone's gonna want to buy it because what's the point if you go to the movies a few times most well just pay the money that you already pay you might as well yeah no exactly and it's, and it's still a great deal when it you is, think about it because i don't go to the movies often but like sometimes i do it is nice it is still uh how the hell are you guys is how the hell are you guys still be able to do this And not go completely broke. And I, I do hope that they branch out more because as far as I know, it's only to certain theaters that will allow it, and no of the high quality theaters either. Oh, oh, so you mean they can't... They, well, Epic's actually, which is the one we just saw, mm-hmm. uh, uh, Avengers, it does take... My understanding is they, they do take uh, movie pass. And I'm still thinking, like, why the hell haven't I done this? I think... Because um, I forget. Like, because the theater's got to pay for that. Yeah. Like, we'll give them room room for that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I think that's why some, a lot of these are not. But it, it is a nice idea. I hope they do continue it. But, you know, it all depends if they can keep the money, you know, cycling through. Well, we'll, we'll, we'll see. We'll, we'll, we'll see how long this... <laughs> They can actually keep this uh, this model. I think we had, remember, we, we talked, uh, we, we had our topic of the week precisely on that. And we mm-hmm. were very skeptical about how they were going to maintain uh, this. Uh, you know, it kind of reminds me of our hot topic for next week a bit. Or we're going to be talking about games and services. Yes. That's right. That's right. There, there, there is an economy there that is worth discussing. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. All that next week. Yeah. Um, Shadow of the Tomb Raider has officially been announced. The, the news originally was going to be like their trailer and screenshots they leaked online, and uh, and we know what the packages are going to be. Well, it turns out, you know, the trailer has been officially released already. Because come on, you know, when it what? comes to a tease, one of them has released it. Whoever <laughs> works there released it. Yeah, the the or someone knows somebody. It, it's a it, it's a CGI trailer. But I encourage you guys to watch it, uh, especially if you're big fans of Lara Croft and the Tomb Raider series, because this one, I kind of like to know the opinion of you guys. Uh, this one presents what appears to be a much darker Lara Croft. Um, I mean, it's early to, it's early, obviously early too, too early to judge, but I don't know if this is actually the way that I want this character to be or if it's or maybe it's just misdirecting maybe it's just there making you think that oh you know she's like acting like a total badass now because mm-hmm. of course the original Lara Croft was that a total badass trying to keep up with Assassin's Creed a bit it kind of feels like it but Assassin's Creed or with uh, or with uh, Uncharted probably both <laughs> surely surely both but those games are super quality uh mm-hmm. at least i i like the first two um a little long-winded but that's just in, just in my opinion i mean uh, honestly i can't fault the, the the production values and the and the polish was there from the get-go so mm-hmm. i can't really uh complain too much uh is i this really gonna like be the last one or they're gonna make another one uh, this is the last one of her origin story so of course oh great we have more that means that we're gonna have I of feel course like this it's Square Enix they're not gonna give away unless this one doesn't sell as well I feel which I don't have any like, reason to not to take. I mean like Laura Croft the character and the se- in the two mini series is it's good but I feel like they're going to milk it as much as possible like oh. again Assassin's of, Creed. <laughs> of course, they have. They already announced. They already announced. They have their. You know, aside from their standard edition, of course, they have the Croft edition, for whatever the hell that means. Uh, they have the, and of course, the digital Is Croft like edition, the digital Square deluxe Enix's version of the gold edition for Ubisoft. <laughs> it's, so, it, it's kind of. 
<laughs> Did I tell you? It it is it is another one where you actually need a, a chart to be able to see, okay, this one, if you select this one, it comes with this. But if you select this one, it comes with this. And you know, it's you guys will see it when the marketing stuff uh you know comes out. Uh the the game is scheduled to come out on September 14th for PC, PS4, and Xbox One. That's kind of close if you the, think about yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. And it, that that trailer, even though it kind of it was featured on on Xbox, mm -hmm. this is not a time exclusive for Xbox or anything like uh, like that. It's, this is going to be day and date on on all consoles. Nice. I mean, hopefully uh, nice. on PC as well. If they say on PC the same day, but it's, we'll have to see. Yeah. You go. You go. Oh no! I thought I hit something. So. I'm going to be announcing the... Uh, My retirement. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> the PlayStation Plus games for next month. Dun, da, da, dun. <sighs> yes. So uh, if you can't wait out for Detroit, you're in luck because Beyond Two Souls... Oh, yes. ...will be available. Oh, yes. Yep. <laughs> you are getting a, a, a functional equivalent here. <laughs> and if you can't handle that... You can also get Rayman Legends. There you go. <laughs> there you go. Which I is a great, great fun game, actually. That game, yeah, that game is Especially hella fun. Especially for couch co-op. It's very fun. Yeah, I will play the Rayman Legends. I will not play whatever Beyond. the hell is the other one. I Beyond mean, it's Tussles. free. Yeah. So not even. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't, so, I don't need it <laughs> to be showing on my, um, on my, <laughs> my uh, library. So that was for PlayStation 4. For PlayStation 3, you get Risen 3, Titan Lords, and Eat Them. Wait, for PlayStation PS3. PS3, Risen? Yeah. Uh, what am I getting confused with? Oh, I'm talking about, I'm thinking of, of uh, Xbox exclusive. Rise? Yes, that's what it is. <laughs> Thank you. Sorry about that. Hey. Okay, yeah, so yeah, so Risen 3. He's got his mind blown. <laughs> and for PlayStation Vita, you get King Oddball, which is also crossed by with PS3 and PS4, and Furman's, whatever that is. <laughs> whatever, exactly, whatever the hell that means. But that's all right, because if none of those float your boat, you can always uh, turn into trusty Xbox, right? They have announced, hopefully, yes, their lineup please. already. Let me pull it up. So, and I heard they're stellar games as well. So for <laughs> Xbox, for Xbox One, you get... Super Mega Baseball 2, which is from May 1st to the 31st. Wow. You uh, you also get Metal Gear Solid 5, Phantom Pain. Oh, there you go. That, that, hey. I mean, that's reasonably good. Yes. That is that is very good. That was my game of the year when it came out in 2016, was it? 15? 16? No, I don't remember. 16. Wait, so you completed all 50, like... Two of the things? Yes, on Metal Gear Solid. That's exhausting. That was... Well, I... I See, I I was really enjoying the gameplay. That that game was a lot of gameplay, why. and the story was the only thing that was a disappointment. And <laughs> my god, I hated fucking. And you know they messed up. They um, took out a lot, actually. What? A, quiet. Oh, first of all, stupid Do name. Do not get me started. Stupid no, no, name, no, 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 no. and that uh, pretty much on. ruins <laughs> ruins the game. <laughs> ruins it. I, <laughs> He could have just been obvious and said he liked scantily clad woman. Yeah, exactly. You don't have to like, give a stupid... Like, what's his face from um, Dragon Crown? Oh, my God. It was Dragon, Dragon Crown. Oh, or, or the guy that... Uh, or the uh, producer of uh, Near Automata. That mm -hmm. was like, yeah, dresses like that because I like girls. Or Bayonetta. <laughs> or too. Bayonetta, exactly. Could have just been obvious about it. Yeah, yeah. So, hey. yeah. Not, what was the excuse? The excuse was that, oh, no, she dresses she like that. She breathes through her skin. She <laughs> breathes through her skin. Oh, my God. It's so stupid. It's I tell you, uh, of all the Metal Gears, probably one of the best gameplays, but one of the worst stories. If not the worst. The very worst. So that'll be coming out May 16th to June 15th. I still don't understand the whole dates, but I guess it's going for them. So for <laughs> Xbox 360, which is also... Compatible with Xbox One, you get Streets of Rage from May 1st to the 15th. Ooh, Streets of Rage. And Vanquished from, oh, from May 16th to the 1st. That, that, yeah. that game is amazing, Tron. That is another platinum 
platinum game. Yeah, it makes me sad. I don't have Xbox Live anymore. <laughs> it's on oh, PC, well. actually, and it's, it's super cheap. It's like 15 bucks, I think. Vanquish, if you want it. So it I feel like you reach. they get a better lineup than PlayStation. What is going on? On this one? <laughs> well, it happens. Once in a while, it'll happen. So um, let's move to uh, some suing, <laughs> some legal news. What happened? Oh, man. Who died? Oh, epic. No. <laughs> well, the mother of this 14-year-old kid, probably, after he, uh, she finds out that Epic uh, Games, the makers of Fortnite, and... Lawbreaker, no, not Lawbreaker. Sorry, Fortnite, and yeah, Lawbreaker. Gears of War. They did Gears, Gears of War, War for a bit. Yeah, uh, they have this. And, side, um, not Lawbreaker. Paragon, right? may it rest uh, in peace. That's the one I'm thinking. Thank you, done. thank you. Um, Lawbreaker is Bosky. Yeah. Uh, right. Okay. Uh, so anyway. Uh, they have decided to move ahead with the lawsuit that they have against a 14-year-old Fortnite cheater. Uh, please tell me I'm pronouncing that right. Because I don't want to make it sound... I have an is accent. Is this the one where... Um, Shitter. <laughs> where the Cheater. mother complained? Yes. Is, yeah. it, is it this one? Okay. Yeah. I this is, vaguely remember that. Yeah. It's and, been so long. And they were saying, no, you can't do that because it's not... Um, it's a uh, you know he's a minor and you can't hold him accountable for the terms of services something like that it was a, no 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 they, you know, he but is accountable you cheated. for if you cheated you cheated yeah exactly don't don't <laughs> don't be don't cheat uh, I'll take that one uh, don't be cheating and if you can't do the time if you can do the time I see if it was gonna make time if you can't pay the 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 whatever is it that that. Epic decides to go after. I don't think they're mm-hmm. gonna be asking for a lot. I think this is no. more like a scare tactic. Probably just to teach the kid a lesson. Yeah, maybe. But I feel like it's gonna fall on deaf ears, like it usually does. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the mother originally had to uh, try to have uh, the case dismissed uh, in a letter to the court. So um, now we have a verdict. No. no? Yeah, they're filing Aww. dispute. Uh, let me see. Uh, the filing disputes four main points raised in November's letter, saying that the first uh, the first three makes no allegation that Epic has failed to stake uh, to state a claim and are therefore irrelevant. Oh, this is, I, don't, I don't understand. I hate legalese. Uh, the thing is, uh, the the thing that the mother is trying to uh, the, to 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 say to defend is that. Uh, Epic is unable to prove that the boy actually modified the copyrighted uh, the copyrighted game code, mm. and therefore Epic uh, they they can. And don't they they have kits now to do that? Like you don't have to personally do it yourself. You can just get a kit from somebody else who already did. Yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. And besides, it, the and damage is still the are, same. Most of them are free too. The the, the the damage is still the same, but Epic is claiming profit losses because of course you know unless it was of, like uh, data mining for like packs. Or Listen, something. we don't, we have we don't forty know. years olds are very bright, very intelligent. They're just misguided and they put their talents elsewhere. So we don't know if he was actually a super hacker or if he was just some <laughs> kid that decided to to uh, just you know just discover a little exploit and decided to take advantage of it. We don't mm-hmm. we don't know that. The thing is that uh, Epic Epic was like sorry, he, so, so why if he's a minor. He still, you know, he still breached the contract of our game, and I see the what their priorities game. are because they can't fix their game apparently. Because <laughs> um, as of recently, with the, as I'm sure you all know about the whole meteor theory, there have been meteors hitting the map oh? in Battle Royale, but because of this, it's caused some stability issues where you players have said that they've experienced freezing. Like oh. the screen freezing, and then when it resumes, they died. Oh. Uh, and uh, apparently, um, wah, wah. someone caught, uh, apparently it happened to a uh, Papa Twitch streamer called Ninja on one of the streams. Oh, yeah. And, it, and someone who, the person who got him, tweeted and showed a video showing that all he did was just stop for a second. Mm hmm. And then that was it. So it oh, seems wow. like the screen is, um, they're freezing before they die. <laughs> and then. Uh, well, isn't this game considering beta still? 
Isn't that the whole point of Fortnite? It's, if, it's if not Fortnite even, or 1.0 already, is it? It's not even free. Like, the base game's supposed to be free sometime this year. Yeah. So, yeah, so there you go. So, it's unreasonable. And mind you, they already have, like, cash prize tournaments and stuff mm-hmm. like that on a game that is not even completed. But then well, again, that's a the a side game. That's, like, DLC, pretty much. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. but yeah. And it's, they're, they're still this, modifying it, like, almost every yeah, other and week. And all this rendering, like, they've had a lot of issues with the... With the quality, because they did up the quality some time ago, mm-hmm. well, recently, and it's been giving some issues, some stability issues, and they've been trying to fix it, but, you know, with every fix, something else comes up. Yeah. Yeah. That's the, then, that's the level of the game, game developing, and yeah, programming it, in general, really. It is. Something's you know, going to slip it, You fix a bug, and something else comes on. I mean, look at God of War. Look at that mess. <laughs> You know, it's they keep patching every day because well, that one's they a keep really breaking and breaking. high quality. Like that's yeah. polished. Whatever is breaking, it got to be in the background. We don't even know. So is is that game ever coming to PC? If it is, I'm sure everyone's no. gonna. <laughs> this is God of War. This, this is Sony. No <laughs> Sony games will Imagine ever come if it on PC because everyone oh, who's yeah. PC master is be like, uh, yeah, my stuff is fine. That's, I don't know about you. <laughs> yeah. No. Um. Well. Uh, these are sad times that we're living. Um, Amazon has raised the price of Prime, of the Prime membership in the U.S. from ninety-nine dollars to one hundred and nineteen dollars now. Uh, so that is a twenty percent price hike that will Why? go into effect uh, on May eleven. Uh, Not just that. I I'm actually had the same article too, and I just realized. Because I'm a Prime student, uh-huh. they're also raising that price. Oh yeah, to fifty nine dollars. There you per go. Year. Oh, the original price of the first was time like of 40, the first Prime was like forty bucks. For yeah, like of course they're raising it to fifty bucks, which is not bad. I mean, it was not. We, uh, I mean, to 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 be real, it, it, if uh, if you're a heavy Amazon user like I am, it is still a good deal. We're not claiming that it's not. Uh, yeah. It's just, I mean, you get original content. Well, be, to you know, two day shipping. A no, you, you get you get a, a, you get a bunch for, of benefits. Some some of them which most people don't even uh, don't details, even know of. Uh, music, books. Yeah, like the the Kindle, right? Yeah, yeah, the Kindle. The, I was gonna say Nook, but I'm like, no, that's Barnes and Nobles. <laughs> no, uh, no, and and to be honest, I I posted that, and a lot of people went into the defense of, oh, but it's still a good deal, and I'm like, no, I get that. It's actually. This is a this is a case of yes, it's it's a good deal still. You still, still pay f- you're paying more yeah, for the same thing that you maybe were getting because I mean, it it would be a stretch for me to say that they're probably not getting enough money or because of inflation they have no choice but to well do that's this. that's always a claim they say you know because the the or the, because the they're rising money prices grabbing off, it's. It, it, it's, it's gonna open be, there. Yeah, it's it's gonna be you know transportation costs and to give them credit, they do an amazing job with the delivery. Don't get me wrong, oh, they yes. they they do. It it was it was always magical that I'm you glad paid ninety nine dollars delivering with their own trucks now. Yeah, yeah, exactly. They had their own driver that they've, they've come here and and I have ordered several things that come in the same day, mm-hmm. you know, and I can see that actually it shows you on the map where the driver is bringing in and stuff like that. So especially for games, I love it when you pre-order and it comes that day. Yeah. Yeah. So, so we're, so it's still a good, it's still good. Oh, uh, the purposes. It is. It's just a little you, less magical now because you're paying more. And that yeah, means that this train won't stop next year or the year after it's going to be $140, you and know, and, and people, or like two hundred, then they'll make an excuse of, "Oh, it's still a good thing." It's like, well, at that point, that will have to be given. I mean, or you, they will you'll probably be have forced to just play, pay monthly, but that'll probably be raised too. That's that's when people will start realizing that, yeah, Amazon is not the only store, the only online store. It, it might seem that way, but they're not. The pop filter attacked me. Oh yeah, and you go now. I'm trying to look. Oh, all right, so. Uh, I don't have any more. I don't think I. I wanted to bring that up on on the on the on the prime and oh, you know, if for those who care, uh, the Belgian Gaming Con- uh, Commission has declared loot boxes illegal. I think everyone 
<laughs> so this is actually um, this is uh, coming from Gamma Sutra. The commission has been investigating loot box uh, loot box usage in popular titles like Star Wars Battlefront 2, haha, uh, FIFA 18, Overwatch, and Counter Strike Global Offensive, and concluded that Battlefront is the only release not currently in violation of the gaming laws, purely because EA completely reworked the title's loot boxes about a month ago. So, of all the titles that they were looking at, Battlefront 2 is the only one that is not actually doing things because of course they, they 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 changed that and this is great because you might say oh but that's in that's you know that's just a belgian market yeah but that's still sending a message and that's still double work that companies mm-hmm. will have to do now oh they, they're gonna be you telling me that there's a there's 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 a release of this game that doesn't have that crap mm-hmm. you know why are we not having that version then and, and that causes an uproar and then the I company mean, starts they double, put you know, thinking labeling about, like like they come do. on, Nintendo does it now with no, big games. They they, they do. show that internet download. Re- remember the yes, they, the ESRB actually they start they're starting doing that. You know, yeah, but you put know. it like on the case like Nintendo's doing. Well, they're doing that's that's no, exactly like what on the front cover they're doing that. Nintendo is on the front. Co- I, okay, an example is um they coming in with big games like Wolfenstein to right. LA, and to tell people that you need the internet to download this game because it's a big game yeah they put it in the margin on the front cover of the game yeah yeah and and that that's what i mean i don't mean in in the inside the game it'll say that no no i mean like hey you're looking at the cover of the game you have the esrb logo and there is some there is a, a thing that that's they're saying hey this contain uh in uh in-game purchases they call it mm, i still feel that they should have like a uh, a screen for that in game too. I mean, I know it mm. seems a bit much and it might seem annoying, but it might prevent you. To well, actually, they were complete. Uh, they were um, the ESRB. Funny you mentioned that because the 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 people were like, "Well, this is a little vague." People, you know, there should be a little bit more explanation what they mean, mm. you know, or maybe a, a, alluding to loot boxes. And they're like, "No, no, we choosing. We don't want to overwhelm the parents, of course, because no, parents are stupid. Apparently, they don't know, you know, what you know what is what. So they don't want to overwhelm them with too much information. So they're just using they're just using the term uh, in game purchases, which." I mean, whatever that could that could very very well mean with the money that you earn in game, mm. <laughs> you know, with could the just done real in game money. But I think not the real whole, world. Yeah, exactly. The windows, the the windows, the screens in game telling that like being a bit of annoyance. It is going to be an annoyance, but it's going to let parents know that uh, don't do that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they just don't want to do that because it, it's the the ESRB serves the 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 interests of. Of the publisher companies and publisher companies are mm-hmm. not gonna be done with that at all. So of course they're gonna they're gonna do the not. exact mi- the perfect minimum that the minimum that they could possibly do to appease the government. That's what you know. That's what they 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 choose to do. And, and the gamers. Yeah. No. It's, it's not even that. that we that, we're the, the last thing on their mind. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, mostly the if you're being sarcastic, then yes. <laughs> and the gamers. I'm all out. Ah. <laughs> uh. I think I am too. You don't have anything else? All right, then I guess. Yeah, uh, not worth noting. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, okay. All right, all right. Oh, right. yeah, I got one. <laughs> oh, so, yes. I know I posted a article recently in the group about H1Z1 coming to PlayStation. Oh, yeah, yeah. So. The original. Uh, yeah. What's the game? Fortnite? <laughs> Not Fortnite. Uh, Battle Royale. After, like, <laughs> after Daisy. So, apparently, the publisher, Daybreak Games, is laying off a bit of their staffers. <laughs> Why? I mean, I guess, is, is it that bad? Are people not playing it? Oh, yeah, it's... It's empty. That game is empty. Yeah. It's, I think it's a 30, 30 dollar game. I played it like once or twice. Wow. That's and now it, they're huh? bringing it to console. And again, I saw it in the store. Uh-huh. $30 game or quote unquote founders pack. The founders. I guess they're trying to get their um, their monies in. But um, 
since with the competition of Epic Games and Blue Hole with their Battle Royals, I think they are uh, trying to, uh, you know, rework themselves out. Mm, I heard that they were... Uh, but... Uh, s- some things with the off, Russians, uh, I don't know. Yeah, but some, laying, laying off their quite a bit of their employees as their PC ports coming to PS4 seems a bit, uh, doesn't look so good. No, no. Especially in this landscape now where uh, everything is going to be a battle royale, you better bring it mm. with yours if you're not doing very well already. You yeah, know, and correct me if I'm wrong, but wasn't H1Z1 the zombie survival game then that yeah. got re re uh named it's pretty much daisy but instead it's like pubg and daisy mixed yeah, cuz you you it's survival you know against zombies but you can also attack other players too the, yeah well that so so is it still that cuz i thought that game became re, uh, renamed just survive yes it started um yeah, that, and then it started to come the whole battle royale thing. Because mm, yeah, everything's battle to, royale now. Yeah, they're, they're, Daybreak is saying that um, they're laying it off to realign the company, the world of workforce in the company to better position them. Yeah. And I'm just like, that's great and all, but if people don't, if you don't have enough people buying your game, that will cost you a bit. Mm, yeah. A bit, I mean a lot. Yeah, quite cool, cool, cool a bit, I would say. Uh, well, good luck to them on their endeavors. <laughs> yeah. I guess so, people are just not into zombies anymore. <laughs> no, no, now everything's battle royale until the next big thing comes, which who knows what it will be. But uh, yeah, I guess uh, we're going to just leave it at this. Uh, yeah. It is time to wrap this up. Uh, thank you so much for joining us today. Uh, on a, right. we said it was gonna be short and sweet, but somehow we managed to extend it to like an hour. <laughs> an well, hour. We don't have a hot topic, and okay. we don't have a hot, to- you know, a hot topic yes, for but, this week. Um, but we'll be back with another one definitely next week, and we'll have our OG back. And we have you know the the trio, uh, and then I'll go on vacation <laughs> for God knows how long. Anyway, uh, we'll see you next week. GG! Yeah, what the hell? I can, <laughs> I can use a couple wings. <laughs>